Hello everybody, this is Becky Browning with Wallflower Greetings. I'm an independent stepping up demonstrator and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a sponge background. You can use a variety of different colors to make your backgrounds. For this tutorial I'm going to use our new in colors for 2017-2019 and I'll show you those in a minute. Here are the backgrounds that I've already made and you can see they're all just slightly different. And that is kind of something that I love about it. You never really know. Even if you put them on kind of in the same way, you're going to get a different look each time. Now, I used these recently to make a couple of sympathy cards that I needed to make. And I made one where I used the green at the bottom. And in another one, I actually turned it and flipped it this way for a really different look. So. I'll show you that card here. Now the stamp set that I used unfortunately retired just recently, but you could use any line stamp for this that you wanted to. This is in the meadow, I believe. And this punch is also retired, but again we have the pretty label punch which you could use for this card if you wanted to do something like this. So I layered this on a piece of um, basic black cardstock and um, I thought it turned out really cool. So I'm going to show you real quickly how to do this. So first you're going to need some, I'm going to use Whisper White cardstock. That is the best um, for this technique. You could also probably use, we have some shimmery white cardstock that would probably be very pretty as well. So here's my, my card um, layering piece in Whisper White and I'm going to use some sponges. Now when you buy these, they come in big rounds in a package of three and you can cut them down into fourths or even one-eighths because I think this is an eighth of a wedge or a circle and make little wedges out of them. And some people even label these with a little piece of cardstock. I don't really get that detailed. I just kind of make sure that I use similar colors than what this is. Um, also too, I have heard that people have actually washed these really well and let them soak and they're just fine. Even though they're stained, um, they're not gonna cause a problem. And really after these are really, really dry, you, you don't have to really worry about them mixing or anything. So I don't really get too concerned about marking them, but you could do that. So anyway, I have these ready and I also have my colors here and I'm going to show you these because they are the new 2017-2019 in colors. And so this is Fresh Fig. This is Berry Burst. Then we have a color that I used earlier in another video. This is Lemon Lime Twist. Then we have a nice soft pink, which is called Powder Pink. And another really pretty color that I really like, it's called Tranquil Tide. And I've laid these in the order in which I'm going to use them, and I know they're off camera, but I don't have a lot of space here. But I'm gonna start with the darkest color first. And this is Fresh Fig. So let's go ahead and open that up and take the sponge. And I'm just gonna get a little on there. Now you'll notice that I'm using a sponge that has a couple of different colors on it, actually three different colors on it. And I'm gonna do the darkest one here. Get some color on it. Now I've got a scratch piece of paper underneath my cardstock. I'm gonna turn this um, landscape and start over here on the on the right hand side. I'm gonna go off the page or off and then onto the cardstock. And see, you can tell that right here I already have a, a really dark smudge. So you want to be really careful unless you mean it to look like that. Um, you know, if you want a real blended subtle look, um, just add a little bit of ink. A little goes a long ways because you can um, you know, always add more color and build this up, okay? And because this looks like a sunset or a night, you know, a, a sunrise or a sunset, actually to me it looks more like a sunset, um, you know, they all look different. The clouds look different. Um, you can see this is blending a lot better here. I still have that little dark smudge, so I'm going to just keep working at it and get in some more color, maybe try to even that out just a little bit. 
Sorry, I'm off camera. There we go. Let me move my camera back over here. There we go. How's that? Okay, better. All right. One thing about this, you do get inky, but that's okay. That's part of the fun as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so I'm really kind of liking the way this looks. I'm going to keep going. And keep going down further. And like I said, every one of these is going to be a little different, and I'm kind of in a hurry here, so um, for time's sake, you could spend definitely more time doing this and blending it. So the next one I'm going to use is the Berry Burst. Now this is a really intense bright color, and it goes on very, very dark, so a little <clears throat> goes a long way very burst here there we go and so definitely want to take off the excess on the paper here you can see that it's it can be it can go on quite dark it's a very very pretty color I'm just gonna blend these a little bit and you know give it a little bit more pink tone I'm coming in from the sides over here and I'm just going down the uh, the cardstock here, lower and lower. And again, like I said, these all are going to be quite different. Okay, and you just keep going until you get it kind of the way you want. All right, so that's done. Now to make my sunset, I am going to put that right here, kind of in the in this area here. I want to kind of leave a little bit of a space, a little bit of white between this intense pink and the um, lemon lime twist. So that's going to be our next color. We find that sponge. Okay. And for this one, because it is. I'm going to turn it around so that I have the white over here on my right so I don't get my hand into the ink just in case it's not dry. And I'm going to just put a little start kind of in the middle here because it is a sunset. I don't mind, goodness, I'm quit knocking things here. I don't mind if um, it's real intense in the middle because it is a sunset and that's okay. And this one's actually going to be a little brighter than some of the other ones that I made, and that is okay. Nothing wrong with that. All right. I'm kind of come up in there. Now I can kind of shade up towards the pink a little bit. Just didn't want to mix it too much there. I wanted a little bit of a dif uh, differentiation there. Now, one of the things that I did is I'm going to go up with this. Um, lemon line twist up into the cloud area here this pink area and just tap on a little bit of color kind of like the clouds are reflecting you know the sun sunlight there and you can add as little as you want or you know whatever you like I'm gonna add a little there and I think that is good okay I'm going to add a little bit more to this side over here. All right, there we go. I think that is good. All right, so there is that color. We're going to move on to the light powder pink. Maybe my pink sponge over here. Okay, so here's the powder pink. I want um, a little in between, sort of in that white space, in that white area. Kind of blend that into the yellow a little bit. Or into the, um, yeah, there we go. And this is a very subtle color. And then I'm going to come down below the lemon lime, lime twist. I keep moving this camera. I'm so sorry. I keep getting off. And since it is kind of subtle, I'm just putting it on. I'm not really caring too much about or worrying about whether it's going to be too dark because it's really not. Um, it's 
very subtle. Okay, I like that. And I can always come back in and add some of this if I want to here in a minute once I get the green on and see what I have going here. So now the last color that I'm going to put on is this blue-green Tranquil Tide color. And depending on what you're doing, it either looks more green or it looks more blue depending on what color is up next to it. So I think that's one of the things I really like about this new color. It's very pretty to me. Um, so I'm going to start at the bottom here and go off and just work my way up. Come from the edge, come up. Just like that. Gosh. This is going to go flying one of these days if I'm not careful. That'll be fun. <laughs> okay. I think it's because I, my table is really not very stable. It's a little card table um, that I have set up right here in front of my TV as I'm actually watching um, myself on a large TV so I can see what I'm doing and I can also see whether people have commented and uh, respond to that or at least I attempt to. Okay, so this is looking really good to me. I'm going to blend this up into that pink a little bit and I like that I may go a little darker on the green in the bottom here but that's looking really really nice like I said you could keep working on this and I wanted this a little darker right in here because I'm kind of making maybe like a little hill or shadow or you know just something to create a little interest right there okay now I think I like it and blend out over here okay that's pretty cool all right so I like this so the other thing that I did is I took this um, blue green color tranquil tide and I just sponged around the edges just to give it a little bit of dimension you don't have to do that if you like it the way it looks. You don't have to, you know, do this step. Okay, so I'm gonna spend just a little bit more. I know I'm off camera, but uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, there we go, like that. Okay, I think that's good. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. You could go a little darker if you wanted to, but I think that looks fantastic the way it is. All right, so now then you're ready basically to do what you'd like with it. You can, you know, stamp over the top of it with one of these line stamps. I think that beautiful U stamp set, which I featured in an earlier video, would look really pretty with maybe the dancing lady on here. So that's certainly an option. Um, there's other things you could do. You could use punches. So let me show you real quickly the new Daisy Punch. And this punch is so very popular that it's already on back order. So just be aware of that. Um, I'm going to keep checking to see when it's available. I haven't checked recently. It was going to be quite a while. Sometime though this month, and I'll check and, and post when um, they think it'll be available. Um, again, but it was very popular and you, let me show you why I think it just is so neat It really turns out really pretty. So here's what it looks like when you punch it out Okay, and I punched out two of them because I kind of thought I would layer these together So let me do that real quick and I was gonna hold it up to this card and see if I liked the way this looked if I can just layer it there we go on there you know, it doesn't stand out as much as I thought it would, but maybe once I get it together. And then I also found uh, these embellishments I ordered. They are new in the catalog. And what are they called? I'm trying to see what they are. I can't read them, unfortunately. It's a little too blurry. Just trying to see if I could hold it to the camera and read it. Let me see if I can see what it is. I can't read it at the moment. But anyway, I will post that 
um, and tell you what the name of these are when um, I post all the information about all the cards that I demonstrated today. So I'm going to open this up. I thought maybe this would be pretty to put one of these in the middle. So I may do that. Um, one of the things that you can do with these, I may sponge um, a little bit of that. Let's just do that. I'm going to take some of this um, You know, I don't know. That might blend in because it's in the middle. No, I'm going to take a different color. Let me do this. Ah, let's do this. Let's do the Berry Burst. Let's just see what this looks like. This is called Just Playing Around and Experimenting and See What You Like. Where did that go? Here's the sponge. I'm just going to take a little of that color and see if I can just sponge it on sort of in the middle of my flower. And I may do the other one just in case, even though I'm going to layer it. There we go. All right. So let's see what that might look like. See if it makes it stand out a little bit more. Yep, I like that. I think that's very pretty. Um, I don't even know if it needs an embellishment in the middle. I may or may not use it. I'm not really sure, but I will put this card together and show you the final product on uh, wallflowergreetings.com and also here on my Wallflower Greetings Facebook page. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, send me some comments and a thumbs up if you like this. Be sure to share with your friends, anyone who might be interested in learning some stamping techniques. I don't mind if you share away. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for another video tutorial. Thank you. Bye.